Yeah, you know, there's there's an old expression, uh, bloom where planted. And, uh, and the one thing that I have seen Ellen do is wherever we have gone and whatever challenges we experienced, when we had those challenges, pick herself up, dust herself off, and, and drive on and make things happen. I think people think our, our mom was like, maybe like grown in a lab. Like there's a military <laughs> wife, like lab, where they pump out Ellen Dunford's. And there was a, a time in her life where she didn't have any direction or guidance because there weren't resources for her. She had to make it up herself for, you know, the better part of 40 years so far. And um, that's pretty incredible. In 2003, uh, virtually the entire 1st Marine Division at Camp Pendleton, California deployed. And with the Marines who deployed went the soccer coaches, the scout leaders, the football coaches, the basketball coaches, uh, you name it, they were part of that deployment. I can tell you, Ellen knew nothing about soccer before that deployment. And by the end of that deployment, she was a soccer coach. We won, we won that year, right? Or no, we at least, we, did, we didn't lose Cat, everything. Cat was this different than I do. That may have been the season we scored one goal as a team. <laughs> okay. Um, no direct correlation, uh, blame the athletes, not the coaches on that one. Brought all the spouses together, let them know that there would be somebody there to help them get through the challenges associated with their spouse being deployed. And, and uh, really from the very beginning, just had a passion to make sure that other military families uh, were connected and, uh, and taking care of each other. Blue Star families, we're looking to draw a spotlight to the people who make military life possible for families. There are so many who give a lot. Ellen Dunford is just a tireless advocate for how we can do better and we can do more. I reached out to Ellen when we were launching Blue Star Museums and she was right there next to us to help us get that phenomenal program off the ground. Over 2,000 museums free for military families. She's been a, a mentor and a leader pushing us forward walking with us to host the White Oak Retreats, something she really believes in, making sure that the nonprofits speak to each other. And now, as we launch Welcome Week, she's just a beacon. I was so impressed with Ellen since the very beginning when I first met her. She, I mean, she's lived in this world of the military families for so long, and she knows how to fix problems or issues, and her, her, uh, her love of it is, is very clear. Yeah, Ellen, Ellen Dunford is not someone you want to be in between her and her objective. And anybody who is denying the sacrifice of military service better watch out for Ellen Dunford. You know, you're presented with these problems and they seem in some levels insurmountable because of the steps that you're probably going to have to take. She has the ability to kind of cut through that and say, no. Okay, this is what can be done, and we're gonna do it this way. She also never relented in this idea that we're not serving military families by being redundant or by being too competitive. She just, in her very calm but forceful way, said it over and over and over again, and people did start to listen, and she made an impact. Ellen has been awesome at connecting Easter Seals with other organizations so that all of us can ensure that we bring the full resources of our various groups to bear. I greatly admired how Ellen brought her knowledge as both an accomplished physical therapist and military spouse of 30 years to the work of our committee. When Ellen spoke, the committee listened, and the transformative work we accomplished on behalf of our veterans community were all the better for it. Ellen has a real serious commitment to supporting military and veterans families, and that comes through in all that she does. Ellen truly is a servant leader. She has that, that ability to just understand the needs of others, and, and she gives with such a loving heart. So Ellen for me is a role model, uh, not only a dear friend, but everything I watch and read and see service above self and I try to model my behavior on Ellen's and Joe's and those people that do great things for other people. Mom is definitely the reason I know how to stay calm under pressure. You know I think she could run any 22 year old, uh, <laughs> give, give any 22 year old a run for their money in terms of energy. Um, pretty special thing to have your mom be able to do. For over 30 years Ellen has been a steadfast pillar of love, support, and strength for her fellow military spouses and families. 
Every Christmas Eve and every Christmas Day and all the days around them, she was on the road. More than 100,000 miles flown on C-17s, C-130s, helicopters, even carrier landings at sea. And she took her positive attitude from duty station to duty station and, uh, and looked beyond the challenges to the positive opportunities that we had at each, at each location. Ellen, from the moment that I met you, I knew you were a force for good. You had compassion, passion, and you had a great voice. No one can listen to you and not pay attention. Ellen, on behalf of the Military Child Education Coalition and all of the military connected children we serve, thank you for your contributions to all of us in our community. She deserves a huge ovation. Um, so Ellen, congratulations on this. You deserve it more than anybody I know. She has been right there at every turn. And that's why so many of us know that when you talk about lifetime of achievement, year in, year out, making a difference. Well, it's hard not to think about Ellen Dunford.